Hello Saints, this is Mrs. Oliva and today we want to spend a few moments taking stock of your strengths and resources. We'd never send you off to skydive without first making sure you had practiced packing your parachute and your landing technique. We would expect everything to go right, but we would also prepare you to cope with what could go wrong. So let's make sure you have good daily habits and strong coping resources in place when you need them. By now you should have been given an index card, so I want you to quarter that up and I want you to put a C an O, a P, and an E into those quarters. The first quarter I want to talk about is community, and that's where you're going to list the positive people in your life that you can go to when you need support. So naturally, those are going to be your friends and your family, coaches, teachers, anybody you feel has your back that could be supportive and an active listener for you. And make sure, by the way, that you're an active listener for your friends. Don't be judgmental when they come to you for a good supportive friend. Don't pass judgment on their feelings. Just accept their feelings and please never try to tell anybody how to feel. That never feels good. The O is for outlook and optimism. So here make a list of your happiness triggers. Make a list of the things you know you can do. Make a list of the things of which you're proud. Um, a positive outlook is, is worth so much. Have an attitude of gratitude Make sure that you're positive to be around, intentional with your kindness. Do you smile at people? Does your outside look inviting? Do you think people would approach you? Um, do you look inviting? Does your, does your message to the outside world say, come talk to me? If you're having negative thoughts about yourself, if you're having distorted thinking, please come to talk to Mr. Hollower or myself and we can help you out with that. But make sure you're giving yourself positive messages. Um, I'm happy about, I can, my happiness triggers. Be around positive people and hopefully you're a positive person to be around. Personal time. Make sure that you're making time for your own hobbies. Um, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Eating right, getting enough sleep. Um, going back to those positive messages, defending yourself like you would a friend. Uh, making your own mental health a priority. Um, seeking therapy if that's what you need, making your spirituality priority. Um, when are those times that you feel close to God? Is it in church? Is it through music? Is it in nature? But taking personal time and making sure you're making time for that. E is for energy, exercise, environment. When do you feel a sense of purpose? How are you bringing good energy into the environments that you inhabit? When do you feel a sense of purpose? Everyone needs that. How do you, through your actions, words, and movements, bring a good energy into this world? Do you volunteer? Um, do you seek challenges or do you avoid risks? If you didn't have a feel, fear of failure, what would you do? Make sure you try new experiences because it really is about the journey. It's not about the, the end experiences it's, or the end product. It's about the journey. It's about the process. Don't be so rigid in thinking that everything has to be perfect. Practice relaxation techniques. And if you don't have any, again, come see Mr. Hollower and I. Today is Copecake Day. So they're free. All I'm asking is that you fill out this Cope card and keep it in your planner and keep it readily available for when you need it. We all need coping skills, just like muscle memory, just like when you practice for plays and um, sports, it's gotta be readily available. So come see us at the stage today and get your cupcake. Thank you so much.